Welcome back to the Electrician's 2 channel. Today we're going to just do a little review of my newest test instrument that I recently purchased. Uh, this is, uh, I purchased it, not, be, I purchased it uh, not because I needed another one. I purchased it because it was just so unique. Uh, I've never seen one like this before. And, uh, you know, so I thought I'd just do it for Giggles and Laugh and do it and do a review on it and, uh, and let you guys just check out something new. Well, this is this is a polarity tester. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it's by a company called Tenma. Some of you are, may have may have or may have not heard of the company Tenma. They have a, they, they've been around for a while. I don't know just how long. I done some research on Tenma, <clears throat> and and uh, Tenma is, is I think it's located in the United States. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Leave a comment. Let me know exactly where they're from. Tenma is spelled T E N M A T E N. M A, and this is their this is a um, this is their ELCB polarity tester uh, model number seventy two dash six seven nine one. I've uh, I, I'm I'm not sure if I've ever seen one. I'm, I'm thinking like that Greenlee had one, not sort of like this with the dial on it. It was a little bit bigger. It was yellow. Uh, it was kind of um, it was one of the older twos a GFI tester. I think they did have one of these but um anyway this is my first time seeing one like this on the market uh, i'm not sure anybody about green leaf but anyway uh it's odd to me you know it's odd and i purchased this and you know and it works it works it works a little bit different from the other ones that you see um on the market it's a step up from this one i would say and it's a step below something like this it would be in fact in the middle of these two right here uh, but anyway this is not a button right here uh so but you just have to dial the milliamps that you want for example if you if you want to test um you're testing the gfi uh receptacle you know you keep turning it until it uh it trips now most gfci gfci circuits uh uh, receptacles may trip at like 30 milliamps. Um, the one I tried it on, it tripped at 10. So that was the, that, that was good. Um, so you just turn it. And when I first saw it, I thought this was a button, but it's not. So that's how you operate this, and I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but the build quality uh, quality of this, this is it feels kind of is very light, hollow. Uh, in fact, this one feels a little bit more solid than this does. Only thing I'm thinking that it has in here probably a circuit board with some kind of um, component that would cause it to start sh short circuit or create a short circuit just to trip the breaker, the, the I mean the receptacle. But um, it doesn't take any batteries. It, it it lights up off of the circuit that you're plugging it into. In fact, I'm, I'll, I'll show you. And y'all know about the Klein, this Klein, which is a real nice one here. And um, what I paid for this one. You know, um, I could have got this one and still had some change over. I think I paid something like, I think it was $20, $22 for it. Then, like I said, I didn't need it. I just wanted to get it because it's different. And uh, just to make a video of it, just let you guys see. So um, let me let me get this, this outlet right here and just give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. Let me see. All right. Now, keep in mind that, let me show you, this is an AFCI uh, receptacle. I thought that I had a GFCI receptacle. I didn't. This is a normal receptacle right here, but this is a GFCI um, adapter. So, I assume that it would, you know, it should work in it's gonna work. In fact, I know I've done it. I've tried it earlier. So this is how you work this thing. You plug it inside of the of the GFCI, and it will give you uh, like the two lights, the two lit lights that are lit up. It's telling you that it's correctly wired. And hold on a minute. Okay, and you just turn this dial right here, and that should make a trip. See, 
Now I tripped. Um, so I'm gonna reset it again. And turn it to 10 milliamps and it trips. So it does work. It do, I can say that it does work. I don't think it'll work. I didn't try it on the AFCI. I don't think it would trip it, but let's, let's just see. Let's just see. No, it didn't trip. It's still, it's not, it's not for that. It's still for the, just the AFCI, I mean, the GFCI. Now, this is the, the Klein. We all know that the Klein's gonna, it should trip it also. Okay. Yep, the client tripped it. Also, uh, I wasn't surprised that it did, so let's, let me try this one too. This one should do it also. There we go, it tripped it. I think something wrong with this, this uh, that's why I wasn't using it. Something may be wrong with this thing here also, but uh, get this out of my way. This is, you know, it's a, I, I, out of the two, I still would have, still would revert it, uh, re, uh, prefer to climb. Uh, the build quality, the price, you get the uh, digital display. And I just like it. I just like it better. Everything this one does, as far as the time, I think the timing all, it shows it on here too. I think it does. I have to really get into it and see, press to reset, test. I think it does, but even if it didn't, I would, I would prefer this one. It's much cheaper, and it's, the build quality is much better. And this one is, is this old technology, so, you know, but if this all you had to use to test the GFI, I would, uh, you know, use it, but if you can afford something different. Uh, before I buy something like this, I'll go with something like this, if you had the money. But this here, um, like I said, I only, only purchased this because I... I seen it, it was different, I never had it, and I just wanted to do a video on it, let you guys, pure entertainment, that's all, let you guys see what's, uh, what's out there. Uh, so, uh, you know, I just wanna put this out here, guys, and, and I hope you enjoyed the little video. Remember, this is the Tenma 72-6791 ELCB polarity tester, and uh, it doesn't take, like I say, it doesn't take any batteries. You're saying it's for indoor use only? and uh, dry locations use only. And um, it is what it is. So uh, guys, thank you for watching. And I do have more videos on the way. And uh, you guys take care. And until next time, peace out.